you're looking at the Sacramento Bee newspaper. This was yesterday leaving Sacramento Airport around 3 p.m. The uh, They were saying they were hoping they didn't have to use the emergency spillway. It's dirt, okay? And it's next to an eroding spillway that uh, does not look to be faring too well in the first three or four releases. Um, they've dumped some water, but it's not enough and it's not going to be enough, and they're going to keep trying to push this envelope instead of having filled in the chuck hole the very first second it formed. Now, uh, as you see from other pictures that we will show you, uh, the, the erosion is going to cut away, um, and you'll see exactly how it's going to go. They are going to continue releasing water out the spillway. They're going to shut it off going to start it up, shut it off, and slowly erode this dam, trying to prevent a major catastrophe. Eventually, uh, that corner you see on the left it will be gone, um, and the erosion will then start eating away uh, at the higher point of that corner, um, back eroding into the foundation of an earthen dam. And if you look at the history of earthen dams, uh, some of your most catastrophic events occur in earth and dam, but you can see what I mean. That they got a chuck hole here. They know exactly what's going to happen when they release more water. Uh, they could have filled that in. Uh, they could have been on the phone the minute they saw it uh, and worked through the night, and they could have filled that chuck hole up, and it could be almost set by now. Um, but this reservoir, as you see from the air, um, is... Uh, this is pictured at about like 40%, 50% of the lake uh, level, but now it's at 97%, 95%. I mean, it looks that high to me. Uh, they're saying 94%, um, but the bottom line, it's filling by about 1% per day, and that's with the releases. What they didn't factor in is first, they, they expected a huge melt from the rain, but then it, it froze way up high. And then they didn't, they're not calculating the intense radiation coming from the sun right now. And now the melt is like epic. So they're, they're, they're playing follow the leader. They're chasing a rabbit. They're um, on a wild goose chase. And at risk is just millions of people. That's all. Um, and we put out a video. We were called fear mongers. Of course, we we're going to get called that. But uh, the bottom line is, this is a situation, if you live in the Sacramento Valley area, uh, and, and this thing is way north, so we're talking all of Sacramento Valley, um, you're, you're, you need to pay attention. And if they give an evacuation order, the roads are not going to get you know, get you there. So you need to be thinking ahead of everybody and planning a three or four day vacation in the next day or two. Uh, call in sick to work, take a sick leave, do something, but don't, don't take your eye off that dam.